Welcome to this presentation on writing verbal expressions. So what we've got here is we've just got some uh, problems and we're told to write them in words, right? So here, what do we got? We got D minus 4. So D minus 4. That's the quick and easy way to get that one done. Your teacher could say, hey, give me, you know, write this one in two different ways. So if that happens, you need a other way of doing it so you could say the difference between D and 4 or you could say 4 less than or you could, or you could say D less than 4 right all of these really mean the same thing. It means we're going to take this number D and we're going to subtract 4 from it, which that could have been another one, right? D subtracted by 4. So, you know, lots of different ways to answer that. So, you know, what I, I tell the kids in my class is, hey, look, you know, you see something like this, 27 minus 22. You know, just, just write out what you're thinking. You know, just put words there. Or once again, we could say the difference between 27 and 22, right? So let's um, look at some more examples. Maybe. Okay, let's just make up some examples here. So let's say you got something like 2x, right? Well, some ways to write this is 2 times x, or you can say the product, the product, pretend like this says product, of 2 and x. Or, you know, 2 times x, product of 2 and x, 2 multiplied by x, right? All, all kind of the same thing. So, what if we had 2 divided by x? We saw something like that. Well, you would just say 2 divided by x. Or you'd say the quotient. Say the quotient. The quotient of 2 and x. Not quite as many words for division. Let's see. So we've here, here's a good one that I, I like to do. Something that looks like this. A little bit more complicated. Sort of, well, it's just not really any more complicated. It's a little bit longer. So you can say 2 times x added 2 times x added to 7, right? Or you could say the product of 2 and x increased by what? Increased by 7. So you know, uh, lots of different ways you can use them. I've got a list of these words on on this page on algebraclassnotes.com. If you're on YouTube, just click click on the description. You'll get a copy of this worksheet as well as those words. And that's um that's it. Here we got let's look at that one. You got w cubed, or you could say w to the third power. And that's that's his presentation on translating or, you know, putting these things in words. Enjoy.